Dr. Kapoor, whenever you're ready, you can start. No problem. I'll highlight you. Your... Om Namaskar. Jai Matadi, Jai Sri Krishna. Jai Shri Radhe. Another 12 days, Radha Ashtami is coming. Today is lovely Sunday. It's not cool, it's not very hot, luckily. And before we start, I'll request everyone to get ready with your scarves, long scarf or kitchen towel, or you can have belt like, like this, you know, and have some balls also. I don't know whether you have got at home or not. They easily squeeze. And then some weight lifting. Maybe the food can, you can bring with there about 450 grams, which is not very heavy for us. Or you can got, got some dumbbells, you know, if you got dumbbells, doesn't matter. Then my dumbbells are very, very light. They are not very heavy. My dumbbells are here. See, they are not very heavy. So you can have anything in the house, whatever, or water bottle, maybe one liter, two liter, or a half liter, depending upon your stamina, but don't overdo it. I will start this again with bearing how to do it and how you do it and how many times you have to do it. Lovely. Let's start now. Once again, thank you very much, my friends, giving me this chance to serve. Take a long deep breath from the nostril. The hands are in dhyan mudra. Keep your neck straight, spine straight, shoulder behind. Relax your body and the mind. Take a long deep breath from the nostril, chanting the word Om three times from the mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Makashtit Dukh Bhagbhave Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let's all pray to Almighty for the wellness of whole universe. Everybody should be healthy, wealthy, enjoy prosperity. Nobody should suffer from any ailment, whether that is physical, mental, spiritual, social, emotional, or financial. With these good thoughts, we'll start our session, keeping in mind all the precautions. Follow your own body. Every step we have to enjoy. We have to go in the state of full peace and harmony. So do as much your body allows you. 
people suffering from hypertension, heart problem, severe acidity, severe asthma, severe backache, or you are recovering from any ailment, you are not feeling that active this morning, so follow your body and do it slowly. We feel sometimes lazy not to do it. But once we start doing it, slowly and slowly we build up our stamina, we feel cheerful, all that laziness is gone. There are very simple ways in which we can activate our system. Let's imagine I am getting up at any time, depending upon how you sleep, because sleeplessness is a big problem, big problem. That is causing us so many problems, depression. We are getting obese because of our sleeplessness, because of depression. We eat, we don't know what we are eating and how much we are eating, eating the wrong food, getting on extra weight. We get diabetes. And then the complications of diabetes, we are losing our vision. Our kidneys are not functioning. We call it nephropathy. And then our nerve system is not working. We call it neuropathy. Complication of diabetes will be there. And then we might develop hypertension. More complication of hypertension, stroke, blindness, and various other problems, kidney problems. And then because of the sleeplessness, you are getting another problem that you are so lazy throughout the day and you're so irritable. So, so many conditions are happening because of this sleep problem. I think I will cover this topic in detail next time. Now, the, the thing is by doing this, our activation of our self, Especially in the morning, we are very stiff. Most of us are suffering from water or excessive air in our body. Our main dosha is vata. There are three dosha, pit, vasha, and kaf. Sometimes there's a combination of two or three, or sometimes one is more predominant, more in our body. At this age, we are suffering more from arthritis, and slow digestive system, system is not working at all, can't digest the food, and you are hearing so many people at the age of 70, 80, their appetite is completely gone, which is a very strong indication that something is going to happen soon with these people. You might remember, I remember my mother, she died at the age of 93 and she was so active. But when her time was coming to go away from this earth, a month before she stopped eating. So that is the indication our digestive system is not working. Our, all the organs are giving away. But again, if you do yoga practice, you stay active. That's what our Swamiji, Swami Ramdev Ji Maharaj, Aapke Charma Me Pranam, he is saying every day, you can live 100 years active life. And we are seeing on the television. So this is the idea of doing yoga. So I want to activate myself in the morning. I'm very slow. My joints are stiff. So what I do, I just go on rubbing myself. You also start doing it. I know this is already after nine o'clock. We are quite active. Imagine you are in your bed and feeling very low, stiff. Go on rubbing yourself. What is happening? By rubbing, simple physiology is you are creating more heat in your body. You are increasing your circulation. Nobody is there to do for yourself. You have to do it yourself. Come on, do it. Start from anywhere. Let's say my fingers are very stiff in the morning. We are suffering from arthritis. Hair there everywhere. Can be small joint arthritis, maybe large joints. So go on rubbing the whole body like this. Go on rubbing. And you are feeling very low. 
So go on, give a good massage on your face. That will give you extra glow. Look at the mirror before and after. Without putting anything in your face, is getting glow itself. Go on doing wherever you feel more lazy. The neck is stiff. So do like this simple massage. Because we are just starting, warming up ourselves gentle. Then come on your tummy. You can do this lying down or sit up. Always try to sit up very, very slowly in the morning. Otherwise, there is a problem. Blood pressure goes low and you get dizziness. But I go, you might have fall. We want to prevent falls. So do other area. Just rubbing itself. But I look up, we are quite active. Just imagine you are in the bed and don't want to leave the bed. But I have to leave the bed. Any area with the problem, your back, reach your back also. And if you have these equipments, like these are available, you know, and these you do acupressure with these. So have like these things. If this is not there, in the kitchen, there are so many things. You know, you have got karchi, the big spoon, get hold of that, keep it near your bed, and in the morning, get that and do it like this. You can't reach because I'm suffering from arthritis here also, frozen shoulder. So I have to be very gentle, you know. But if there's no problem, you can do like this. You can do with your, the large spoon, if you haven't got anything, or you might have bailer in your house, making the chapati. You can do with that, or any wooden thing. See, you can reach all the area. There's nobody there to help us. We have to do ourselves. They're all sleeping. They are not either, don't do yoga practice, so get up late. So same thing you can do with this. This is a problem with our joints, you know, that's why we need something to grip it and do it. Do any area. My feet is giving me problem. Here you are activating four channels to get in a problem of your lower limb, knee problem, hip problem, chaitika, ankle, even in the feet. So you're doing gentle massage or you can say acute pressure. See, so whole body is done. Now I am quite active. Yes, yes, I'm quite active. I can sit now. Previously, I could not sit, you know. To do your, you have to make your body suitable to sit in one position. This is called as asana. Asana can be various types, sitting on the chair, as most of us are sitting on the chair. But only keep your neck straight, spine straight, shoulder behind. You can sit on the mat, on the ground. Imagine you are sitting at the riverside or on the beach. Lovely, isn't it? Or a big park. We are sitting in Shramanji's park today. All the wind is blowing. We are enjoying. So in a park we can do, wherever we do, make sure that area is clean, enough fresh air is coming. So we are sitting in any asan on our mat, Sukhasan, Vajarasan, Lotus, half lotus pose, whatever. Idea is to start doing our yoga session in our bodies in such a condition, we can sit for a long time. This is a prerequisite. Other thing is you have to look at the health and the safety also. What to do and what not to do. Yes, don't overdo it. Already mentioned, keep in mind all your precautions. And other point is some days we are very active. So you regulate yourself. Don't push yourself. 
do as much your body allows you if you start having pain anywhere please stop there and then if your pain persists please consult your physician to sort it out why the pain has occurred so we have to protect ourselves we love our body yes we love our body because we have to do so much work from this body other thing is while doing poses don't bend forward if there is a back ache heart problem high blood pressure low blood pressure osteopenia osteoporosis don't bend forward just sit straight do even the asan and the poses like this munduk asan while sitting we go on saying side by side you know and when you are suffering from hernia any type of hernia or hiatus hernia acid reflux don't go back so these are our health and safety which we repeat again and again make sure we are not getting any bad effect so we are quite activated now so i will start today as a lovely day 10 mantras to change our day there are 10 mantra to change our day we are all very attentive now we are activated ourselves first one is i have power to create the life i want so how you can create that do your practice i have power to create the life i want number 2 i choose to take care of myself and do what nature me which make me grow and grow and grow third i have time to slow down which we don't have we are we are rushing around all the time i'm talking about myself please don't mind i'm talking about myself i have to learn a lot i have time to slow down for i honor my process and my pace i honor it though i don't follow it this is all true but we please try these things when we repeat ourselves again and again then we change fifth i welcome the growth the learning and positive change 100% right we have all changed people doing yog practice why they are doing why they are doing the whole world is doing now swami ji spread so much everyone is doing and his target is his pledge is in five years i am going to change the whole world and they will be all doing yog practice plus other ayurveda medicine yag they will doing haman and they will be having more those other therapies which are going to get rid of all our physical mental spiritual problems that's what is targeted so we are all learning and we are changing definitely why people are so happy they do yoga practice why they are so active they are working whole day they work from when they get up and go on doing various activities maybe yoga for one to two hours and then other karma they are doing whatever they are whatever places they are put up by the lord they are doing that and by 10 o'clock they all feel quite tired and they want to sleep they sleep early they get up early though it is not applicable to everyone six hours sleep is a must for everyone and in, as we are growing up we can have little bit extra man hours seven hours maybe but the sad story is most of the people are not sleeping they are getting so much disturbance in their sleep we will touch it in one of the session the next one is six i choose to put my energy into the things matter to me so what is our pledge we put most of our energy in our yoga practice to serve the humanity this is our pledge when we were trained we were took this pledge from swami ji that we have learned we will go and spread it yog karo aur karwao nahi to aapko paap lagega ye the unke lovers yog karo aapne seekh liya and and spread it and people have spread his mission is going on like a wild fire you can see sabhi aapko sabhi log karte hain yog 
Another one is I trust and love myself. Eight, I keep my heart open. This is very important. I keep my heart open for all new possibilities. Is me heart You are not hurting, you know, hurting when you just believe that you are the one who knows everything. No, your heart is open to learn. And then ninth one is I'm ready for whatever this day brings me. Teri Icha Prabhu. Hum khushiya usi mein jis mein teri raza hai. Whatever you are doing. And you will do the best for me. Yes. Then I have power to make today a great day. Which is starting from the yoga practice. Giving me so much strength. Now how to get this happiness? This was a very important talk by our Pujniya Muniji Maharaj from Rishikesh yesterday in one of the area of London. And he spoke about this and I was very pleased and I am going to share with you. Ye bhi ek bhot badi cheez hai jo aapko gyan milta hai, samaj jati hai, usko spread karo. Spread karo usko. So he touched this, how to achieve happiness. Happiness you can get from yoga, yes. Laughter yoga. But does, does it last for a long time or for the two hours? We change ourselves, no doubt. We are changing with the blessings of Swamiji. We are changing. For happiness, first thing you need is faith. Have faith in something. Whether you are religious or not religious, doesn't matter. Faith in something. Something. Other thing was acceptance. Acceptance. The third one, gratitude. Shukriya. Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. No expectation. Too much. Whosoever is sitting in front of you. Anyone. Anyone. You do your deed and just that's enough. Open your heart. Open your heart. And the, which is most important, which is very difficult, not for you, for me, let's say, for me, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. See, this is very difficult. We are talking, yes. Why are we are talking? Because repeating, we are going to change ourselves. By repeating and sharing, we are going to change ourselves. But this last one is let it go. It's very difficult. Very difficult. So with these good points, these mantras, and the blessing of Muniji Maharaj also, we have learned so much about these things. I was very lucky to have their darshan, the Sajvi and Muniji Maharaj yesterday. They are from Rishikesh, Paramat Niketan. Very, very close friend of Swami Ramdev Ji Maharaj. Whenever I go, they always ask, have you seen Swami Ramdev? Not yet, Swami Ji, I'm going. That's what he's asked me always. And when I see Swami Ji, he says, have you seen Muni Ji? Have you been there to Rishikesh? They're very close friends. From there we learn how they love this saint also. They love your friends. And Swami Ji has got friends all over the world. All over the world, all over the world. So that's what Swamiji taught us. Be friend to everyone, everyone. No color, no creed, no race, no religion. There's no religion involved in these things. Okay, I'm going to start now with these thoughts. Thank you very much for listening. If I said anything wrong, please, at the end of the session, please, please, you can give your comment. I am learning every day, every day. Let's sit state. We'll doing some pranayam now. Keep your neck state, spine state, shoulder behind. Sit in any comfortable position. Hands are in Dhyan Mudra. Starting the Vadrika pranayam. Eight steps of pranayam. First one is Vadrika. 
go on breathing from the nostril, the mouth is closed. This is our diaphragmatic breathing. You can put one hand on your chest, another on your tummy, and you can see the feel and you feel this better while you're lying down. When you breathe in, chest is expanding, diaphragm, which is a sort of drum in between your thorax, the chest, and the abdomen. Just layer there, which is moving up and down. So this is going down the diaphragm. What is the diaphragm like? I will show you today. Just like this, you know. You know, we play tabla dhola in between. This is type, the thing is in between your chest and the abdomen and which is movable, going up and down. So when you breathe in, chest is expanding and your tummy is coming out. This is not abdominal breathing. This is just because the diaphragm is gone down, it is pushing the organs of the abdomen out. You can breathe for 2.5 seconds in or longer if you have been practicing for a long time, maybe five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, depends on the practice. But do it very gently and deeply. And when you breathe out from the nostril, the stomach is going in, chest is getting smaller, constricted. Diaphragm is coming up. When it's coming up, the stomach will go in. That's how we call it diaphragmatic breathing. Now, this is very, very important. This is Swamiji's protocol. We don't about like Western, you know, yoga, they talk about abdominal breathing. We don't talk about it. So go on breathing, Bhadrika Pranayam, and you can go on chanting the Lord's name inside. You can concentrate at your third eye, the Ardhya Chakra also. So many benefits. You are activating your nitric oxide because there is vagus activation. With the pranayama also, we activate our vagus nerve to give nitric oxide. With the OM chanting, we are producing more nitric oxide. Now I want to open up the lower part of my lungs. So I will do chin mudra, upside down your dhyan mudra. And go on breathing from the nostril, exhaling from the nostril. Try to concentrate at the lower part of your lungs. Dhyan Purvak Yoga. Now, next you do your Adi Mudra, the fist mudra. Keep it on your knees and do Bhadrika Pranayam. 
and try to concentrate on the upper part of your lungs. This is going to open up the upper part of my lungs. Adi mudra is the first mudra. This is the mudra we were keeping when we were in the womb of our mother. First mudra of our life is Adi mudra. And there are many other benefits also. This will improve my sleep pattern also. Well done. Now we are going to change over to Kapal Bharti. Keeping in mind all the precautions, the precaution already mentioned before. Plus, if you are having major surgery, don't do it for four to six months, even after minor surgery. If you are bleeding from anywhere, anywhere in the bleeding, whether that is a menstrual flow or bleeding from any part of the body, if you are suffering from fits, convulsion, dizziness, headaches, please don't do it. With the condition mentioned before, hypertensive, heart problems, severe acidity, severe asthma, even glaucoma, do it very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. First, we do with the chin mudra, do kapal bhakti, just 10 to 15 times. One stroke, one second. Here, the full attention is on exhaling. One stroke, one second, and make sure the whole abdomen is moving. Here we are activating the lower part of our lungs. Once the lungs are open up properly, they will function better. There will be good exchange of gases. The purify the blood. Give a good smile on your face. Well done. Lift up your spine. So we are going to activate all the eight chakra of the body, which are sitting on your spinal cord, from bottom up to the crown. Well done. Now we do Adi Mudra with Kapal Bharti. So we are doing our second step of Pranayama also. Kapal Bharti is the king of Pranayama, detoxifying Pranayama. Take away the toxins from all the systems. Well done. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Exhale from the mouth. Lay your arms up. Rub your palms. 15 to 20 times. Put them on your eyes. Feel the warmth going on the face. 
increasing the circulation, oxygen is coming to help out. Open your eyes slowly when the temperature is normal coming to your face temperature of the hands. Open your eyes, remove the hand. Give a nice massage on the face. A lateral angle of the eye. Eyebrows. Giving more circulation to the eye muscles to get rid of any problem of the eye. The cataract, the coma, watery discharge from the eye, any type of discharge, burning eye. Then the temporal region, take away all the stress. This is all preventive. On the forehead, Oh, the head coming down, one finger in front of the ear, or the other behind. You are increasing your lymphatic system here, activation, which is also for immunity. Coming down to your thyroid gland, and behind you, the parathyroid gland, center is your vocal cords. We are activating them. And producing also, by doing all this, our nitric oxide, vagus activation, feeling happy. Our heart rate is normal, respiration is normal. Coming down on the thymus gland, press it hard in, take away all my anxiety, any sadness. So many friends are dying. Bereavement. Immunity is increased. Well done. Then you can do some tapping to increase more your lung function. Lung point. Come on. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Well done. <laughs> Laughter is another way to activate yourself. Activate all the channels, the nerves, the blood vessels. So many ways we can activate ourselves by tapping, by tapping. Oh, ah, and laughter going on. Singing, dancing, carry on. And do this area also. And the lower eyelids. Very good. On the cheeks. Face yoga. Face yoga. Anti-wrinkling, anti-aging, producing more sort of liquid on the face, you know, oil you can say. Take away the dryness. You can do like this. Maro apne aapko. Sabhi kuch aega. Well done. And do this for your neck region. Take away the neck ache. Good for the shoulders. At the below the collarbone. Good for heart and lungs. Activate them. Come to the axilla. So many lymph glands there to improve the lymphatic system. The Parvati is also the one who improves our lymphatic system. The Parvati. So many glands in the abdomen. The big one is spleen. Come on. 
Well done. Well done. Come down. Activating the upper organs of my abdomen. They are pancreas, giving me a lot of problem with my diabetes. Please give more insulin so that I get better with my diabetes. The liver, fatty liver, cirrhosis of liver. Liver failure is happening in the people. Liver failure. And then the gallbladder underneath. Dig it in, especially if there is extra fat. And clean at the same level of the liver. Good production of my blood. Come on. Again, immunity out. Well done. Go down. And then like us. Umbilical is very, very important. This is the area through which umbilical cord we were fed by our mother. The whole body, this is our root. Root of the body is umbilical. That's why people put oil on this at night. Any type of oil. Mustard oil, coconut oil, sesame seed oil, or pure ghee. Whatever is available, just give it a few drops in and massage very gently, very gently clockwise and anti-clockwise. Put it there, that will help you. This will go to every part of your body. Give a nice glow on your face also. The skin is not dry then. Do it every day, two drops only there in the like a little amount on the side and gentle massage, gentle massage two, three minutes. The same thing we put mustard oil in our nostril, two or three drops there also. That opens up. And the next day, if you want to do your jal nekti, you've already seen. Shraman has already explained and shown this. It's easy to do jal nekti then. So this is what, I'm like that. This is connecting. I'm activating still my vagus nerve. Then come down. You are sitting in chair yoga. So while sitting, we are doing lower part. Activate the reproductive system. On the side, my ovaries. And in the man, prostate and testicle. Go down. At the groin region, there are so many glands there also. To activate my lymphatic system. Go on doing. This is making us more cheerful, isn't it? Magic. In the thighs, the knees, problem is at the knees, you know, at this age, isn't it? Some are going for knee replacement. Then the calf muscles, do it, calf muscles. Calf muscles. Calf muscles. Go down more. Problem at my feet. The soul also. What else you are doing? The acupressure is going on the various organs. They are all at the soul and the palm. Whole body is there. Give a nice massage with the oil. And do your Toes also, we ignore these the poor feet is always ignored. Though the whole weight is on the feet all day. We don't give much attention. Yes. Try to move all the toes up and down. Well done. Same thing with the other leg. Good. Stepping we have done, we are cheerful, we are more active, front and back. You can do with the knuckles or you can do with this. Rub it nicely, as I explained before. 
front and back. And this you can do in any area. Any area. On the palm also. So many organs are there. We all know that. Our eyes, the ear, the soft gentle area. Level is between ring finger and little finger. Press it like this. You can press by the wooden pencil or there's an electric gadget also. You can get it from Shramanji. We are giving moderate pressure, not very hard. This is our diagnostic also, therapeutic also. If you get pain while pressing, that means there's a problem on the part of the body. You'll get pain in that area. If there's a pain feeling here, that means my ear has got problem. Can be tinnitus, hearing problem, or some infection in the ear. This is the ear point. This is the eye point. And here is your lung point. So if you get pain while pressing this, that means there's something wrong with the lungs. Can be the throat also, sore throat. Can be asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia. Then coming to your central point, kidney. Even if we do one or two points, we should always come back to the kidney point. Because the toxins are released by pressing that has been thrown out by the urine. Then here comes your, this wide area for the thyroid gland, parathyroid gland and the throat. So we press like this with two or three finger tip. Acupressure, very important. Major problem is diabetes. Yes, so take your ring finger down like this. This is your pancreas point. This is my left hand. So my heart is just below the first line. Level is again between ring finger and the little finger. Down here, heart. You're pressing this and getting pain, that means some trouble is coming with the heart. Can be anything. Where the heart is not functioning, we call it ejection fraction is low, or some problem is the heart is coming up. So press this with the thumb. If someone is having heart attack and you are there, luckily just press this. Other thing you can do is the little finger at the base of the nail, put it in your mouth and give it good bite. Person who is having a heart attack, he won't be able to do it himself because he's sweating, he's getting unconscious. So while you're waiting for the paramedics, do this, press that point. So the next one is, Kidney point we have touched, thyroid we have touched, and there are so many points, and the gut is here, the lower part. Here is all your gut, colon. Yeah, press it hard. Then come to the bladder, which is down here. Bladder problem. Frequency of micturation, burning urine. And down below is, down here, about maybe two fingers below your wrist crease is your, this side is your uterus. And the man, it will be prostate. And other side, little finger side here, same again, two finger breadth is your ovary. So do like this. You're doing so many points. Then we say do like this. Why we wear bangles? We are doing acupressure. Yes. Indian culture is very, very important, very scientific. We wear 
necklace, earrings, nose ring also, and then anklet, they are all giving acupressure. These are the major therapies in now in Swamiji's practice, acupressure, acupuncture, and another one has gone. Shringi treatment, that is a put flask like, you know, and drain away the bad blood. That what is another one has come last week. Now stone therapy. They are rubbing the body with a stone. As we are doing our own rubbing, they are doing with a let's say this is a stone, special stone. They do with that. So these new therapies are coming. Swami is doing so much. The stone therapy, if you don't want shringi, because some people don't like, they are doing with a stone. What is happening? Simple physiology. Increasing the circulation, increasing the oxygen level, and the disease is getting on better. That's all simple. But he is inventing so many things which were there in many years ago, but now rejuvenation of those things are coming up. Well done. So let's go back to our Kapal Bharti. Pranayam is the first and the foremost. If we don't do pranayam, we are not going to get better. That's well established now. First and foremost is pranayam. If you can't do anything else, your body doesn't allow you, and sometimes the time doesn't allow you. If you're taking a flight or you are going somewhere important, do pranayam, maybe 10, 15 minutes, then you get active. So we are doing Kapal Bharti with various mudras now. First is Udan Mudra. You're touching the first three fingers, the tip of the thumb, index, middle, and the ring. Put it here, and we are doing the physical exercise also by moving, activating our chest organ, heart and lungs, the muscles, the ligaments, and the abdomen also, activating of our organs in the abdomen. See, you can do your neck movement also. Eyes movement also. Eyes are also going. So, you can cover most part of your body by doing Kapal Bharti with mudra and exercise. Do at your own pace, no rush, smile on the face. Well done. The next one is your Samana Mudra. We call it peak, like a bird peak, you know. Touch all the fingers together. This is a very important mudra. Take away all the dosha, the pitta, vata, and kapha. We don't know what we are suffering, isn't it? And you know, these dosha come as we, when we are born. We don't develop it. It comes when we are born. And you can look at a person, you can know what is his constitution and what type of dosha they are suffering because there are so many physical evidence. Okay, so we want to get rid of all three dosha because I don't know what is my dosha. So get rid of balance. Okay, peak we call it samana. Samana means saman, balance. Okay, and do kapal bharti 10 to 15 times. You a smile on the face, I can see you, some of you. Go on changing inside the Lord's name, whatever name you do as your own practice routine, any tune, any name.
lift your spine up, shoulder behind. Take your mind to the problem you are suffering. Diabetes, concentrate on the pancreas, or even you can touch it. Touch with love and affection. Requesting my pancreas, please work better. I want to get rid of this diabetes. Positive thinking. The liver problem, put your hand on the liver and request. Most of us are suffering from fatty liver. And if we are not careful, they will be scarring of the liver known as cirrhosis. And then there is liver failure. And then we might ask if we have got enough money about India, I'm talking, you can go for liver transplant. But people don't survive much after that even. Because it's too late. Here you might be on NHS, wait for years to get before that the death will come. So protect our liver, watch our food, we do exercise to prevent high level of cholesterol and liver damage. Watch the drugs you are eating. Check with your doctors. The drugs you are eating, they may be harming your liver. Spleen. Press the spleen area. Request the spleen to work better. Wherever the problem is. My thyroid, put your hand on your thyroid gland. I am suffering from hyperthyroidism, overactive or underactive known as hypo. My virus is going down. Again, age-related problem. Put it like this on the vocal cord. Gold doing Kapal Bharti. Dhyan Purvak Yoga. Put your hand on the money put chakra at the umbilicus. Like this. This will cover all the organs of the abdomen. Well done. The next one is your pran mudra. Touching the tip of your ring finger and the little finger tip of the thumb. Put it on your knees, the bal bhakti. This is going to give me good flow of my prana, plus good for my vision, increase my vision. And making me calm also. Pran shakti. What is pran? The life force. And that is my pran. We call God as pran nath. Pran is my mother, my father, my friend, my guru, my brahm, my medicine. Everything is pran. The prani ogato loka hai mar gaya gaya upar in Punjabi they say badda ho gaya badda Gujarati I don't know that's what they say when the pran will go doctor will certify that gone so this pran is very very important
What else is with the pran? Pran is all the relation. Once the pran goes, who think about the person who's gone? They might think of his deeds. If he's done good deeds, they will remember. Otherwise, nobody bothers. All the relations are because of the pran. Well done. Pran Shakti, we have activated quite a lot today. The next one is our Surya Mudra. The tip of the ring finger touching the base of the thumb. Thumb is resting at the ring finger. When we feel very low, very cold, depressed, our organs are not functioning, diabetes, hypercholesteremia, too much cholesterol in the body, liver is damaged. So do this one to activate all the organs. And go on doing the mantra of Surya Bhagwan. Om Surya Nama. 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 Well done. Now feeling very thirsty. So you do your Varun Mudra to produce more water in the body. Without water, we can't live. Without food, we can live for some time. Without breath, we can't live at all. And without water, we can't live for many days. So water is a must. All the organs work properly if there's enough water in the body. See, every disease is happening because of dehydration. Especially in this age. We are not drinking water enough. So many reasons. A, mobility problem. We can't get up. Nobody is there to give us water. So we leave it, leave it. I can't get up. Mobility problem, old age. And then urinary problem, incontinence, leakage of urine. We are scared, we don't. So many reasons. So this age is very, very important to look after these points. Increase more water in the body to make all the organs. Brain won't work. Dementia is because of dehydration. Diabetes, hypertension, low blood pressure, any disease. Cholesterol level, lack of water in the body. All diseases are. Water is very important. Hair loss is happening. Skin dry, itching all the time, eczema, psoriasis. No water in the body. Okay, well done. You want to produce more water? They are assisted pranayam, shikli and shikari. As we say in the yoga class, don't drink water until unless you feel very thirsty, you know. Day is very hot. Please do have sips of water, but not too much. Otherwise, you will throw it out. So we want to, this teacher is very strict. She won't let you drink water. So you know some pranayam, it will increase your own water. Do sheetli pranayam. We all know that, how to do it. Sit, state, dani mutra. Take out your tongue, roll it. Go on breathing from the mouth. Go on breathing. You feel the cooling effect even going from your throat up to your stomach. This is very good hyperacidity for hypertension, anger, irritability. That will help you for all these things. 
Breathe in, then close your lips and exhale from the nostril. The warm air will be coming from the nostril. The cooling effect is coming all my upper digestive part and down up to my stomach. Stomach is burning because of the hyperacidity also. So much acid is more there. The next one is heat and cheat car. Very easy to do. Food is very hot. Not temperature, but chili wise. We have put extra chilies in the food, so we do CC. And this is very good for your buccal cavity, for your teeth, for your gums. And see what's happening here when we are doing this. Helping me here also in my organ of my neck, you know. Plus, take away the fat from my neck. And this is your face yoga also. You're doing your face yoga. Whatever you do, there are multiple benefits. Even opening up my sinuses also. Well done, my friends. We are moving over now. Fast over exercise again. Start from the upper limbs. Move your fingers. Very good for the arthritis. Small joint arthritis known as rheumatoid arthritis. Fingers are deformed. They are getting better. People are doing for a long time with all other things, exercises, pranayam, yoga therapy, uh, yad therapy, and other things also. Now open wide, open wide and close. And stretch them without getting any pain. Do according to your own body. If you've got arthritis, very gentle to yourself. Slowly and slowly, increase the strength. No rush. Why? Why? This will increase your grip also. Not to throwing away the things. This is a big problem of this age. So many reasons. Central nervous system problem, Parkinson. People are dropping, they are shaking. Make a fist tight. Arms are at the shoulder level. Then take hands down for the wrist joint, very good. Not to suffer from carpal syndrome, which is very common using mobile, iPad, computer for a long time, giving so much pressure. Going down, breathing out, coming up, breathing. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Then press with the hand like this. Press. Press. Other one. Then like this. See, effect is going up to your shoulder. The elbow, the shoulder also. And all the muscles of my arm. Other one. Simple, simple. At your own pace. Very good. Raise your arms up, stretch. Stretching is very important for the bone development and the ligaments. Stretch, stretch. Then look up, moving your neck. The neck exercise is happening. Then gently keeping in mind the precautions, go down, 
up to the level your body allows you. Watch your back. You can touch the ground if you can. Otherwise, reach the area which is suitable to you. Put your head down, look at the ground. Giving a lot of pressure on your abdominal organs by your thighs. Then breathe in, come up very, very slowly. Up. This is known as Shashakasan, Kargosh, Rabbit. Stretch. Pull your abdominal muscles in, tone up the muscles. Then you breathe in, bring your arms by the side. Again, stretching at the shoulder level. And bring them down slowly. Well done. Now take your right arm up. Going up, we are doing now bending. Again, watch your back. Otherwise, sit straight. You can touch the back at your seat. No problem with the back or with the blood pressure. Go down very gently, very gently. I am doing the left bending. Stay there for a short time. Then breathe in and come up slowly. Take the arm down. Take the left arm on the left side at the shoulder level, stretching again. Stretch, breathe in, go up, up, up toward the ceiling. Then you do your right bend. You can touch the ground with the right hand if your body allows you. Stay there for a short time. Then breathe in. And come up slowly. Again, stretching. Take the arm slowly. Now, there are so many exercises you can do for your shoulder. Just lifting it up and down. Even if you're getting a movement in your chest also. Not only the shoulder. The chest is. Very simple. While sitting, you can do your swimming also. We are in the pool. In the pool, very beneficial for various problems, swimming. And if you are very good, you do like this, you know strokes, you know, arm strokes. <laughs> I can't do that. Then you can do your reverse also. We are in the swimming pool. You're going back. But I do this way. See? Legs are also moving. Swimming in the pool. All imagination. Come on! At your own pace. Stretching is most important. Now I will show you some variations of this because some people are like me, you know, they, then they are not very active. That's why I need either this kitchen towel or the scarf. See, like this. Stretch. Very good for bone development. Stretch. Stretch. Here, my width is my shoulder width. Take it up. Again, stretch. This is very good for the people who are not very active, you know, and they are just starting. Give them more confidence. They can do it very slowly. 
Then bring it down again on your chest and again stretch. Up again. Now here you can move again on the side. Holding something is better, isn't it? For the seniors, you know, young ones can do anything. Go other side. Then we encourage you to do rotation of your shoulder as a preventive method not to get frozen shoulder. If you have frozen shoulder, depending upon the severity, you have to do it, arrange like, no problem, rotate 360 degree at your own pace. First, slowly, with a smile, with every rotation, smile. Himmat na hariye, Prabhu na bisariye. Come on, now you can do it fast. Come on, come on. Well done, well done, clockwise, anti-clockwise. You are doing very well. I wish I can see everyone. I can only see four. Other one, maybe on the computer, I will do next week. Again, arm up. Rotate at your own pace, slow, medium, and fast. Come on. Clockwise. Then anti clockwise. Well done. The next one is you can take any sort of. I have got this woolen tape, you can say. You can take your dupatta or long scarf. Here I'm talking to people who are very, very slow, you know, very fragile, but we are encouraging them to do something. So that's why we use all this. Now you can put underneath your foot and just raise about 30 degrees and tell them to do it very, very slowly. Idea is encourage the people to come and join us. The sessions are tailored according to the participant. And we don't have very young people in our classes because of various reasons. They are working people. Plus, they are not interested, I think. Or they do their own gym, 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 gym. They don't come to yoga classes. So most of the sessions we are doing are with the 60 plus. Going up to 87. OK. So do it about 30 degree. As she is practicing every day, she is getting more confidence. Then come up to 60. Then slowly go to 90 degree. Slowly and slowly we are working with our participant. Then come down slowly. Time is short, so I'm running fast now. Take another leg. Do 30, stretch, stretch. Go up, 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 90 degree. Hold it. That's the idea. Don't just go on moving one to another. Hold it. Because my muscles and joints, they take time to warm up. Otherwise, they will be annoyed. Give me pain. And if the pain comes, I might not come to the class next day then. Then go down slowly. Again, you're quite active now. So you can put both the feet on your band and pull it up. Up to a level. Don't go at 90 degrees because you're sitting on the chair. You might fall. Protect yourself. Fall prevention. Then take it down. See, they are simple things are helping. I said I will mention about the weight. 
So if you have got your weight, we will do for short time. Now with the weight, you have to do very, very little amount, not very heavy. I think take anything light. If nothing, take empty bottle. I am a starter. Take empty bottle. And then you build up your stamina. Now this is very good for the bone production. Regeneration of the bone. We done good for your osteoporosis. Now I have got these dumbbells, not very heavy. So you start sitting on the chair, very, very gentle. Very, very gentle. Now look at your anatomy. You are activating your muscles of your upper arm. Biceps are working here more. I want to increase the strength. Just do for four or five times in the beginning. Then other arm, very, very gentle with myself. That is not for us to do aerobics, do fast everything to increase my heart rate and respiratory rate. That is for the very healthy people or young people. That's what they're doing in the gyms. We are doing yoga classes in our, they call it studios in my room. See, then gently you go up, stretch, then come down very slowly. One, And keeping in mind your breathing, going up, breathing. Pranayam is our base, Aadhaar. Three. Four. Five. Another one, one. Two, three, four, five. Then for my tricep, the other muscles down here, do it very gently. One. Two, three, four, five, other one, one, two, three. And if you get any discomfort in your shoulder, in your arm, please stop there. And again, weightlifting is not done every day, they say. Do it after two or three days. Then go on repeating. Start with very, very slow movement and then you can do various other poses. Many other poses you can do. We'll build up later on more and more. But again, keep in mind, don't do it every day. This is the thing, that's what they say. And if you've got any eye problem, please don't do it. Don't do it or consult your doctor before doing it. But as we do very gentle, I think we are quite okay. And we know how to control ourselves. So this is my humble request. Now the next step is our alone will loan for short time. There are multiple benefits, cover the whole system. Any problem anywhere, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, changes our habits, take away all our addiction. Opening up all the channels, all the nadis, all the meridian points, they're opening up. The next one is Bhamri Pranayam. Very good for insomnia, sleep disturbance, high blood pressure, anger, growth, and taking us toward the state of Samadhi, the union with the super soul. We'll do three times 
and this increases our nitric oxide also. Not as much amount as we do with the humming. But let's do Bhamri Pranayam three times. Udgit pranayam, hands are in dhyan mudra, take a long deep breath from the nostril, chanting the word om three times from the mouth. Om. The eighth step known as prana pranayam. Prana means supreme power. Oh. Hands are in dhyan mudra. Fix your mind either on your breath or any chakra of the body. Go on chanting the Lord's name inside. Here we are in the stage of gratitude also. Any name, any dhun, any mantra. Think of the nature. The cosmic power. I am never alone. I am never alone. The supreme power is always with me. He shows me the path, how to serve the humanity. Main akela nahi hu. Main akela nahi hu. Wo sarf shakti maan sadev mere saath hai. Uni ki apar kripa se ye sab kuch ho raha. Dhanyavad, dhanyavad, dhanyavad. Raise your arms up. Rub your palms. Put the palm on your eyes. Slowly open your eyes in the meantime. Thank you. Ah, 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 Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Ma Kashtita Dukha Bhagavate Om Purmida Purmidam Purnyat Pur Muchate Purnasya Pur Madhari Purmeva Vishishate Hari Om Tatsat Hari Om Tatsat
हरियो ओम शांति 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 थैंक यू वेरी मच माय फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू डॉक्टर कपूर एक्सीलेंट